So after learning the first convolutional neural networks, the LATAD, let's explore some modern convolutional neural networks architectures. One of the most influential one is called AlexNet. Let's start with image dot computation, which we introduced in the computer vision dataset lecture. And the plot on the right hand side draws the difference of the team's model performance over years. So the x-axis here is the years, and the y-axis is the top five error rates of the model. As we can see, in the first two years, 2010 and 2011, when the traditional machine learning models are still dominant and widely used, none of those models can break into the 25% top 5 error rate. However, at 2012, even though our other teams were still fighting for 25 error rate, then there is a team can reach a 60% top 5 error rate. And that is AlexNet. So AlexNet was introduced in 2012 by Jeffrey Hinton Slap from University of Toronto. It won the first place at the ImageNet competitions in 2012. By now, it is one of the most influential papers in computer vision or deep learning, with more than 60,000 times of citations. Why it is so influential to both academia and industry? Well, Alexander proved for the first time that the feature obtained by self-learning from neural networks can transcend manually designed features by humans, breaking the previous paradigms in computer vision. So compared with Linux, it is more complicated with more layer and much more neuron on each layer. So in general, AlexNet employ an eight layer convolutional neural network originally was fitted on two small GPUs. So if we decompose the AlexNet to blocks and compare those blocks with LayNet, AlexNet's convolutional block contains larger convolutional kernels and larger polling size since the input image of AlexNet is much higher resolution. And AlexNet also has more channels at each convolutional layers to train parallelly by the GPUs. What is more, AlexNet changes the average pooling to the max pooling to extract the most important features. Well, for the fully connected layer block, AlexNet has 10,000 class outputs for 10,000 class in the ImageNet computation. So the final layer has 10,000 neurons. Besides, the other hidden dense layer increased the hidden size remarkably with 4,096 units for each layer. Another novelty for AlexNet is the dropout. So what does dropout do? Well, dropout enables deeper neural networks to randomly turn off some neurons during the training. So the model won't rely on some special neuron suites. And this helps to improve the model robustness and overcome the overfitting problem. So here is a demo. Compare the standard MLP without dropout on the left and another MLP with 40% of dropout on our right. If you'd like to see more details about dropout, click through the link and see the math behind the scene. So there are several more tricks here in AlexNet. First, it's AlexNet changed the activation function from the signal function to ReLU. So ReLU also called rectify linear units, and we introduced that in the activation function lectures. So 
Why Radu is helpful here? Well, since we will use the gradients of the functions to optimize the weights, and the sigma function suffers from the vanish gradient problem when the x is too big or too small. So for example, in the left-hand side of the image, the gradient is close to zero when x is greater than four. Well, with Radu, the gradient would no longer vanish because we have at least half of the chance where the function was the identity functions, and the gradient will be one there. Another trick for Alexnap is the data augmentation. So we can flip an image, crop different part of the image, change the color of the hue of the image. Let's have a quick summary for the AlexNet. We can view it as a larger and deeper LinkNet with more layers, more neurons on each layer, a large kernel size, and more channels. Besides, it empowered with dropout techniques, the radio activations, and the data augmentations to boost its performance. With three wilder dense layers, in the end, AlexNet has around 62 millions of parameters, which is much more heavier than the LinNet, which only has 60,000 parameters.